I would like to welcome you all to the second Merck Africa Luminary. The first luminary actually was held at Merck's headquarters in Germany last year. It is my great pleasure to open this event for the first time in Africa, here in Kenya. And I am particularly pleased to welcome Kenya's Cabinet Secretary for Health, Dr. James Mataria, who has been instrumental in making this cooperation happen, and the Governor of Nairobi County, Dr. Evans Kidero, who has been a great supporter of this cooperation throughout the time when we started. The Merck Africa Luminary brings together healthcare leaders from across the continent and beyond to discuss and shares, share ideas around seven areas, diabetes, fertility, oncology, cardiology, family medicine, nutrition, and life science research. We want to play a significant role in building healthcare capacity and improving access to sustainable and innovative healthcare solutions across the continent. And I believe that we are doing a good job as you will hopefully see during this morning session and the rest of the two days. Merck appoints and awards Honorable Joyce Lay to be the Merck More Than a Mother campaign ambassador on this day in recognition of all her efforts to reduce the stigmatization and the social suffering of infertile women in the country. Black. Dr. Ludwig. Thank you uh, very much, and I want to take this opportunity to also say thank you to Mark, because um, Mark started this um, initiative, uh, which is a media campaign, basically. Before we get to IVF, there's early detection, early prevention, and early treatment, because IVF is not, it's not just anybody who can afford it. But let's get this message out there, that they should get tested, they should get treated, so that to prevent the, the high cost of them getting a, ch a child. Thank you very much, and thank you so much, Mark, and God bless you. For us who are in diabetes, this is a profound statement from Mark. Um, I went to Germany for the first, for the launch of the luminary last year. And this is a big thing that now it is in Africa. And it, it shows the recognition that Mark has given to Africa and now to Kenya because this is where it is. 300,000 Mark diabetes days. And knowing that in the last three years we have living health and diabetes and Mark is at the forefront for this. Uh, Nairobi's county city government is delighted to be your partner, uh, to be Mark's partner in the provision of sustainable access to high quality healthcare solution especially in the chronic uh, medical management. Today's uh, luminary meeting is demonstrating Mark's commitment to Africa. The two-day meeting will provide scientific programs particularly designed to serve the unmet healthcare needs of Africa with special focus on disease prevention, early detection, and will engage healthcare providers and academia in an open dialogue to explore the educational gaps to build healthcare capacity in the continent. We welcome this initiative to our country and to our city. We are having this uh, forum at a time when we are really emphasizing the issue about medical tourism. We went to India a few weeks ago with the president, and that was the issue which was discussed among all African countries. Because we have many Kenyans, many African countries, many Africans actually spending a lot of money going out of the country for treatment. For this country alone, we have 15,000 Kenyans going to India for, for treatment mainly because of NCDs. Those are the ones who can afford. There are many others who can afford. They are here languishing, like you had the story of grace. And so, 
to have very reputable companies like Mark coming here, we, th we think it's very timely because you are coming when we are also trying to put you know, medical infrastructure in terms of hospitals, in terms of other supply chains of drugs. So it's very timely because we shall be not only be able to treat Kenyans who are here and give them medicines, but also we shall be bringing in you know, uh, nationals from other countries in the region. Once again, thank the chairman, board of directors and CEO of Mark, and the entire Mark fraternity for choosing to start the Africa Luminary here in, in Kenya. And we assure you of my ministry support as we partner to improve health of our people. The award is very nice and it will uh, help me go and learn and develop myself personally and my career and build networks. But I'll also come back and be able to do some capacity development and uh, pull others up so that they can learn and uh, be of the same Absolutely. standard. Absolutely. Moving forward, how then do we, uh, you know, um, um, either eradicate completely is some of our medical challenges, how do we alleviate the stresses that come with it? All this um, um, as, as uh, the, con the conference begins now. How does this private-public partnership um, offer relief to poor patients in Kenya, especially who are suffering or struggling with NCDs? And what does it really mean when a patient misses a dose because they can't afford? It is one thing to scream. It is another thing to manage. So if you screen and these patients are gotten, will you assist in managing them? So uh, screening from our side, especially when it comes to, to diabetes, is one element of a larger capacity, uh, capacity advancement uh, program. We see that while the focus uh, in Africa has been very much on uh, on infectious disease, and we need to continue to we, need, we need to continue our efforts to combat malaria and HIV and tuberculosis and the neglected uh, neglected tropical diseases. And we need to learn the right lessons out of the uh, Ebola uh, pandemic and to be prepared. But we see that there is this tremendous shift toward non non communicable diseases. When shall we see Mark actively in Uganda? I would love to see that. I would love to see a conference like this in Uganda. Well done. We have um, a fertility journalist group that we've started. We would like to see more of that. We're very committed. I am very impressed by um, the members of parliament here. I don't know if they call them that. Governors. We would like to see this kind of thing smear off to well us in Uganda. So. Um, I would just like to see some commitment here. When shall we see Mark this <laughs> active in well Uganda? Done. Thank you. Well done, well done. The Luminary is a series of actions, and the actions are all over Africa, and so is our commitment. Our commitment covers all of Africa and is spreading from the work streams, from the events, from the decisions, uh, from the actions we take. The Luminary event itself, this is really the first time in Africa and Kenya and the commitment of the Kenyan authorities, the close cooperation and private partnership which we could build here uh, over the years um, made this event possible and therefore we decided for Nairobi as the starting event. The next event, now I make a commitment, and Russia you may excuse me, 2016 will also be held in Africa, 2017 will be held in Africa, for 2018, we should think twice because this is 350 years mark, and there maybe it makes sense to have it back in Germany once again. And now we have to define the place and define the location, and we will do this. Uganda certainly one of the candidates as we go forward. Well done. How does this private-public partnership um, offer relief to poor patients in Kenya, especially who are suffering or struggling with NCDs? And what does it really mean when a patient misses a dose because they can't afford? I think the biggest challenge, like I said during my address, is uh, the cost of treating NCDs is beyond the reach of most monanchi, or most ordinary people. And so the challenge is as you bring the medicines in this country, 
how shall we ensure that the citizen deep in the rural areas, in the countryside, can afford these medicines? And what we shall do is that we shall create a fund. This fund, with the support of these group of companies, we will put money which will be used to buy medicines for these NCTs. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you, my baby. Well done.